Fade out one. Fade in three. Pizza Flicks Television Division presents... Ida Lupino in House for Sale. That's all I'm going to be able to show you today, Mrs. McIntyre. I'm sorry. You've been very kind, Mr. Kramer. Thanks. Why don't we come in the office? Maybe we can figure something out from one of the houses you saw today. Oh, what's the use? The ones I like, I can't afford. The ones I can't afford, I don't like. You know, I don't even get to read the news anymore. If I ever do get a house, I'll never read another real estate ad. Oh, now you don't want to be discouraged. To find just the right house, well, it takes time. That's why I've got to find a place before Mike gets home. After three years in Korea, he's entitled to a decent house. Not that awful little apartment of mine. Oh, if you just give us enough time, Mrs. McIntyre, we'll find a house for you. Oh, wait a minute. What's that? Hmm? What? Well, that house, I didn't see it before. Oh, that's a new listing. It's a pretty big old place. I didn't think you'd be interested. But 14, five and an acre of land. Well, the, the house is nearly as important to Mike as the grounds. The house is halfway decent. I can always fix it up. It's pretty far out, but it's all alone. Not another house for blocks. Oh, it sounds perfect. When can I see it? Well, you can see it right now if you want to. I'm sorry I won't be able to go with you, but I have another appointment. But our man Biggs is out there. It's being open housed. Fine. Where is it? At the end of Catalpa Road, number 4180. You can't miss it. There's a sign right in front. I'll go right out there. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Oh, if you're going out there, maybe you'd do me a favor. Of course. Pick up Mr. Biggs. I'm supposed to get him, but I'm tied up. I'd be glad to. Bye. Bye. Mr. Big. Mr. Big. Yes. Oh, you startled me. I didn't see you. I'm supposed to look at the house. Look at the house? Yes, Mr. Kramer, at your office, sent me. Oh, and when I'm through, I'm supposed to bring you back in. Bring me in? Yes, he had another appointment, so I'm going to drive you back. Well, then, let's go. Well, if you don't mind, I'd like to see the house first. You would? Well, yes, of course. This house is for sale, isn't it? Yeah. All right, then. Large room. One of the panes is broken. Solid floors. Oh dear, one of these old fashioned furnaces. I guess you can't expect four stair for fourteen five. How many bedrooms? What? Bedrooms. Oh, they're upstairs. But why do we go? This is an old house. Not right for you. 
This is a new approach to real estate. I suppose that's the kitchen. Hmm? Nice size kitchen. Of course, it needs a little paint work, but that's easy to fix. Yes. That's the back door. It's locked. Oh. That's all right. I can see outside. It's terribly overgrown, isn't it? Oh, by the way, where's the hot water heater? What? Oh, outside. Oh. you been with Mr. Kramer? Why? I don't remember seeing you before. I'm new. Oh. Oh, dear. These cupboards are awfully high. Mr. Biggs, what is the matter with you? Why don't you want me to buy this house? Well, frankly, I didn't want to frighten you. You see, I've heard there's an escaped murder in the area. Murderer? From the state hospital. Said it was dangerous, so we shouldn't stick around here. No, of course not. But here it is in the paper. Man of about 40, tall, soft-spoken, and scar on right cheek. What's the matter? Nothing. You were right. This, this house won't do. It's not what I'm looking for. Well, don't you want to see the upstairs? No, I, I have to get back to town. You think I'm him, is that it? Who? The man in the paper, the one they're looking for. No, no, I don't. <laughs> of course you don't. Lots of people have scars in their cheeks. It's this house. Something about it, it gives me the creeps. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. I, I really do have to get back to town. Well, let's go. Oh. What's the matter? Oh, you haven't seen this closet, have you? best feature in the whole house. <laughs> you see, it's quite a big closet. Yes. That's the trouble with women. Too much imagination. You see what happens when you jump to conclusions about people. I, I don't know what came over me. I guess I'm just nervous and tired. Forget it. It's nothing. I... I feel better when I get outside. It's his house. Yes. What was that? can't let you go. <laughs> Not now. You tell them about him. Go on. Scream. Nobody will hear you. Not here in this place.
Oh, Conrad. Should have been so easy. It's all this house. Deserted. Isolated. I thought I'd stay and rest. And he came. With a sign of his. I had to kill him. Please, please don't. If you only let me go, I promise you I won't tell anyone. You can trust me. That's what she said. That nurse. She said she was my friend. She said she was going to help me. I had to talk to the doctor. I heard what she said. I had to kill her. You can't get away. Oh, please. Please, if you'll only let me go, I, I promise you I won't tell anyone. Please, my husband's coming home from Korea. I... Korea? Soldier? Yes, we haven't seen each other for three years. I've just got to see him again. Soldiers kill. I can kill, too. You know... You'd like Mike. Mike? My husband. You'd, you'd have a lot in common with him. He was a prisoner. He was locked up for a long time, too. Just like you. He's free now. Free? Yes. You can be free, too. I'll help you. How can you help me? I if you don't kill me, you can get away. You see, Mr. Kramer knows I came to this house. If you kill me, they'll, they'll only catch you and lock you up again. Please, take my car. All the money I have. Get away. You tell them I'm gone. No, no, of course I you wouldn't. You give them a license number. No, I They'd promise you I wouldn't. <laughs> please, please, don't kill me, please. I'm not going to kill you. You're not? No. As you said, you're going to help me. I'll take your car. You'll drive it. Drive? Right across the border to Mexico. Where are the keys to your car? Why, I left my bag in the kitchen. They're, they're in my bag. Get them. Must have left them in the car. Go on. Silly of me to forget. Now I remember. You had the with you, you came in. No. Go back to where you put them. No! Uh Down, maybe the place is sold. No, 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 no. Just some kids probably tore it down. Go ahead, kill them. That's what a stupid man would do. Stupid? You're not very smart, are you? If you were, you'd he'd let them in. Let them look around. Then they'd leave. You'd be free. You could go away. Yeah. The heart of the house. The kitchen's good, the rest of it takes care of itself. Well, the house needs fixing, but it's private. 
I see. Way out in the country with nobody near you. Uh, excuse me a minute. Oh, go right ahead. I want to see to the upstairs anyway. Are uh, you from Kramer Realty? Yeah. I thought Biggs was going to be on the job. He was here. He had to leave. Oh. Well, my name's Jones. I'm with Associated Properties. I told Biggs I was coming out. What do you want? Uh, can I talk to you for a minute? Have, uh, have you got a buyer for this white elephant? Why? Well, I've got a pretty hot prospect if you don't mind my showing her through. I know this is your listing, but after all, half a commission is better than none, and you know this place has been up for sale for a long time. Well, go ahead. Show it to her. Well, there's no need to be touchy. What are you doing out here? Well, you wanted me to act as though I was looking at the house, didn't you? What's that? My lipstick. They're certainly wonderfully roomy bedrooms. Oh, you bet they didn't skimp on space when they built this house. Shall we uh, take a look at the uh, kitchen and the service porch? And uh, the door open? No. You have the key. Here. Why don't they leave? I tell you, she's interested in the house. If you really want it, you better do something and do it fast. Not till I've seen all of it. You know, a kitchen is the most important part of living. At least in my household, it is. But a deal like this doesn't come along every day. Somebody's written something in the cupboard. Body in fireplace, get help. It's a funny thing. Oh, these young vandals. I tell you, there's nothing safe from them. They travel in packs, you know. Bunches of wild boys breaking to facing things. But this is written in lipstick. Oh, these teenagers. The girls are worse than the boys. Wouldn't you know they'd use lipstick? So hard to get off. Solid oak. Just lovely. Well, it's getting late. I must go home now and get my husband's dinner. Uh, thanks a lot. I think we've seen enough. I'll get in touch with Biggs. Why don't they call? Why don't they call? If you want this house, you'd better act quick because she wouldn't be staying if she wasn't interested. You'd better get your husband to come right out and see it. Tomorrow. Tomorrow may be too late. He's working. I don't know if I can get him to come. You'll be sorry. This house is a buy. Wait, please. Wait. Please. Take me with you. Don't leave me. I don't understand. Let me ride back with you. But you came out with another broker. No, no, he's not a broker. He's a murderer. He killed Mr. Biggs and put his body in the fireplace. The fireplace? But I thought you said some kids wrote that on No, the... no, I wrote it. Please believe me. Please, let's get the police. No, 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 no. Let's not get all ruffled up about this thing. Are you sure you know what you're talking about? Of course I am. Let's go. Now, look here, young lady. You've made a very serious charge. You're going to have to back it up. Oh, there you are. I wonder why you disappeared. This young lady says there's a dead man in the fireplace. What? There is. Well, oh, sounds incredible. We'd better take a look. Well, yes, by all means. Come along. No. No, no please don't, don't let him take me back in there. The don't let him take me back in there. Wait a minute here. She's uh, had bad news. She's upset. Oh, I see. You'll be all right. It isn't true. No. Now, miss, is uh, this the fireplace? Yes. The body was in there. He's moved it. I tell you, he killed Mr. Biggs. You, you've got to believe me. Oh, please. I'm sorry about this, Mr. Jones. But it wasn't your fault. She's had quite a shock. 
Her husband was a prisoner of war in Korea. Oh. Oh, the poor thing. Well, goodbye. plane ticket. I've been all through that before. They watch the depots. But then I'll get the ticket for you. The only way I'll trust you is with me. If you take me away with you, my husband will know I've disappeared. He'll start searching for me. He won't find you. What are you going to do with me after we get to Mexico? I don't know. Oh, please let me go. Shut up! What are you finding? Nervous? This is taking us long enough. You just better pray that we get these keys. Now we'll go. killed the nurse last night. He's inside. He has a gun. You stay out here. wide open. He may have gone outside. Now, you wait here while I check upstairs. No. All right, you in there. Come on out. body in the closet with him. Oh, thank you. Thank you. If you hadn't come, he would have... Uh, all, all the time, I thought you didn't believe me. Believe you? When I asked you to help me and you went away. But I didn't believe you. But you... You brought the police. Oh, you mean George, my husband. I brought him out to look at the house. Husband? Yes. Oh, 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 oh